What does deposing a dictator and the science of problem solving have to do with one another? It's an excellent question. And actually, it brings forth one of the most important elements of problem solving. And that is figuring out what it is we need to know, but we don't yet know what that is. Hi, I'm Diane Cromer, and I'm a former journalist and political consultant, both domestic and international. In the year 2000, I had the opportunity to work with the 18 leaders of the opposition coalition that defeated Slobodan Milosevic and set Serbia on a new path of democracy and a market economy. The reason that I relate the two issues together is because in that circumstance, when I joined the team, I realized that my expertise in politics was not enough for me to know and understand it and provide all of the answers that the coalition leaders had hoped that they could provide from this outside consulting group. But what I did know was how to guide them through the process to realize that they were their own experts. And that process is called problem solving. Now, Harvard Business Review and teachers at MBA schools everywhere have produced thousands of pages on this topic. But I had the opportunity to learn this, uh, this skill firsthand from the CEO, COO of my family, my mother. I come from a small farming community in central Pennsylvania in the, uh, in the United States. And my mother had the responsibility to help fulfill all of the goals that she and my dad had for us children. They wanted to be able to provide all the necessities, send the three of us to college, show us the world beyond Dillsburg, Pennsylvania, and to ensure that they had financial independence and security throughout their lifetime. My mother had to run the budget. And so whether I have had to sit with her and help her figure out how much food we were going to have to put up in the summer so we could have food all winter, fresh fruits and vegetables, or I was working with leaders of opposition coalition, the problem solving process was the same. I have developed my own six cycles over this 40 year period and they basically cover six simple issues that can be applied to anything and easy to remember. The first is discovery. The second is research. Third, we make decisions. Fourth, we have discussions with people about what we're going to do. Then we act. And finally, we evaluate and adjust as necessary. Let's take a moment and look at each of these six steps so we understand what we're supposed to do in each of them. Discovery means that we are wanting to find out first what it is we really want to accomplish. What's the biggest goal we're trying to reach? Not just deal with the challenge that we face now. But as young people, one of the things that we have to think through is what courses do I need to take in high school in order to prepare for the college or university that I want to attend? What university do I need to attend that's going to give me the background and the course study and the college life that I want that will allow me to be a successful and have all of the doors open to me that I hope to find to enter? So once we find that big goal, then we can prioritize the problems we need to solve. And we'll talk in a minute about why that was so important and probably the critical step in changing how the leaders of the, of the Serbian opposition saw their role in the elections in 2000. Research is a serious research process. It is not about going and asking people's opinions, but it is your time to do to, to interviews, do online research to see how other people have done things, um, to query and question other professionals, but to do so as a research process and not an opinion gathering process. Through our research and understanding the goals and challenges we need to, to overcome, 
we can make an array of decisions. We can create two or three choices to uh, make in order for us to decide what is best for us. And in the decision making process is where the real science of, of problem solving comes into play because there are many different ways to approach this. One of course is perfectly understandable. It's a cost benef benefit analysis. Another, uh, other ways involve um, doing a set of questions and finding ways to numerically quantify the value of the things you're trying to accomplish. Then you want to have discussion. You want to get feedback from stakeholders and other people who are involved in your, in your goals. You want to get both their feedback and their buy-in. But now it's time to act. And we act and we implement the steps that are leading us to that big goal. But throughout the process of action, we need to evaluate and monitor how well we're doing and adjust as necessary. These are the six steps that we brought as consultants to the coalition, the 17 political party leaders and the one NGO um, non-governmental organization leader that formed the coalition that defeated Milosevic. Because as I said before, the thing that I realized is I could not provide them answers, but I could help them find the questions that they needed to ask and allow them to make their choices and their decisions. Because at the end of the day, they had to run their country. What I really would like you to understand in this introductory session is that problem solving is a personal skill. It's a mental discipline and it's a life skill. It is something that you used when making choices related to the next steps in school, college, and first jobs. But it's one of those skills that the business world, for whatever reason, refers to as soft skills. I guess it's because it's not calculus or other high math. But it's one of those things that you have to learn as a person in order to develop the emotional discipline and the emotional maturity to make strong decisions, whether you are a business leader having to decide where to put the next location for your business, or you are a field research scientist trying to decide what needs to be researched and understood in order to take the next steps in your scientific field, or whether you are making the choices of what are the next jobs you need to, need to take and steps you need to have in order to have the full life that you want. I make one big caution. This is not an exercise in gathering opinion or using your opinion. The whole process, especially in the first three cycles, discovery, research, decision making, need to be as qualitative and quantitative as possible. We don't bring our expertise and understanding of context in until we dis are making the final decision after all of our analysis or our decision choices. And that's the tough part.